The potential of nuclear war is becoming increasingly likely in the current global climate, and leaders are overlooking its nightmarish consequences. There are over 13,000 nuclear warheads in the world today. This video will demonstrate the impact a single one would have on healthcare in one Canadian city. Using the NukeMap simulator, we estimate the impact of an average-sized 100 kiloton airburst nuclear weapons detonation on Vancouver, BC. Cities are targets for nuclear weapons, and this device is common in US and UK arsenals. If dropped in the city's center, one-fifth of the population would die instantly, approximately 130,000 people. Almost half the population, 290,000 people, would be seriously injured. After the bomb is dropped, five stages of immediate health impacts occur. A fireball of superheated air forms and extends 380 meters in diameter from the detonation point. Any structure or person within this radius is instantly vaporized. The radiation radius extends 1.11 kilometers from detonation, generating a lethal dose of ionizing radiation. Within a month, approximately 15% of the survivors in this radius will die from exposure. This radius encompasses at least two hospitals, erasing emergency healthcare systems. The blast wave causes the most physical destruction, spreading 3.26 kilometers from the detonation point, causing most residential buildings to collapse and local fires to start in many areas. Another hospital, schools, universities, and public libraries crumble in this radius. All suffer injuries and fatalities are frequent. The thermal radiation extends 4.38 kilometers from detonation. The intense heat can cause third degree burns through layers of skin destroying pain nerves. Injured parties are often severely scarred, disabled, and require amputation. The light blast damage extends 9.18 kilometers in every direction, causing glass windows to break and further injuries to be suffered. In 24 hours, an average of 860,000 people would be in the light blast range of our total simulated detonation radius. Your health would also be affected even if you are not within this radius. The immediate health impacts described don't account for the fallout effects such as congenital disabilities, cancer, and trauma which have prolonged long-term consequences. Of approximately 1,600 physicians in Vancouver, post-explosion, fewer than 1,300 physicians would remain. Each physician would have to treat 225 patients simultaneously, assuming they can considering their injuries. Who would care for all the injured, with no hospital to go to and no doctor to care for them? COVID illustrated how unprepared the healthcare system was for managing specialized treatments and crises. After a nuclear attack, the loss of supporting infrastructure would cause complications and treatment to surge. Hospitals and care facilities would be destroyed, and access through roads would be strained, making providing necessary transport of food and medical supplies almost impossible. At Canada's COVID peak on January 10th, 2022, 41,000 new COVID cases in one day were reported across the country. Approximately seven times more people would need medical attention after a nuclear attack in just one city. The only cure to this is prevention, and we need help in promoting nonviolent conflict resolution in our cities. How can we help? Educate ourselves. Dialogue with others to share what we've learned. Take action individually or with friends. Attend a webinar or lead one ourselves. Volunteer with these other peace and disarmament organizations, part of the abolition movement. We can protect our cities by getting them to sign the I Can Cities Appeal, gaining support for the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons. Learn more about the humanitarian impact of nuclear weapons with IPPNWC and advocate with us to stigmatize their use. Citizens have the right to live free from the fear of nuclear war. One nuclear bomb dropped on one city has unredeemable humanitarian consequences. Nuclear war would not stop at one bomb. We must prevent their use altogether.